that we've done our test sewing, we are ready to sew a seam for real. So I have two pieces of fabric that I've pinned together with the right sides together. That means the printed sides are touching. I'm going to set up my machine for a regular straight stitch. So I'm gonna set it on the straight stitch on the stitch selector dial. I'm gonna set the length to 2.5 and I want my needle in the center needle position. So that means I'm going to set the width dial to the center needle position icon, which is right between the two and the three. I'm gonna take the top edge of my fabric and get it ready by putting it right under the needle, under the presser foot. And I'm going to use the guideline that's two guidelines over from my presser foot. This will give me a half inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna follow that when I sew to stay straight. I will put the presser foot down to get ready. And I'm gonna start by doing a back stitch. So that means I'm gonna sew forward a few and then backwards a few by using the reverse lever. A back stitch is how we keep our seams from falling apart and it's how we keep our projects together. So I'm going to sew forward a few stitches. I'm going to hold the reverse button and push the pedal to sew backwards a few. And then I'm going to keep going forward. You want to take your pins out as you go. You never want to sew over your pins because you can break a needle or damage your machine. You also don't want to push or pull the fabric as it moves through the machine. The machine will do all the work of moving the fabric for you. You just need to gently guide it to keep it straight. And when I get to the other end, I'm gonna end with another back stitch. So I'll go backwards a few stitches and forward a few stitches. The very last thing to do is finish the final stitch that my machine stops in the middle of. So I'm gonna look for the take up lever. If I don't see it, I'm gonna turn the hand wheel towards me until that's all the way to the top. I'll lift my presser foot and I will pull my project out and cut the threads on the thread cutter. And there is my beautifully sewn seam. The next thing I need to do is press my seam. Pressing is a very important part of sewing. It's something that you don't wanna skip. It's gonna make your projects look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna take my fabric, I'm gonna put it on this pressing board, and one way to press a seam is to press it open. So that means I'm going to separate the two sides of the seam allowance and press them open and flat. It's gonna make my project look nice and crisp and professional.